Well, hi, everybody. Mindy here. And I wanted to talk to you today about how I find my trades every day. As you know, I've been trading for over 20 years. And what I found with the Forex market is you have to have a game plan every day. You have to know what trades you're looking for. And that way, when the trades happen, you're ready to take those trades and make money. But there has to be a reason behind the trades that you take, right? Because too many people, they see a Forex price moving up or moving down. They go, oh yeah, this looks like this is trending, so I'm going to jump on this, this trend and try to trade this trend. Well, I can tell you from years of both my personal experience and the experience of 700 people that I have taught how to trade over the... 15 or 16 years I've been teaching other people how to trade, trend trading does not work in Forex because the prices are just too volatile. They jump around too much. The Forex prices will look like they're trending one way or trending another way, and then they'll just turn on a dime. And too many people get caught up in trades that end up going against them to the point where they hit their stop losses on their trades, right? So, this is a strategy that I use every day, okay? And I've been doing this for 20 years, and more often than not, this will lead me into very good trades, okay? So, what I do every day before the market opens on Sunday, which is today, or the first couple of hours of each new trading day, what I do is I develop a game plan for that trading day, okay? And so what I do is I mark out on charts the areas where I want to look for my trade entries. And that's what I've done on these charts. Now, what you see is that these are the seven pairs that involve the USD and the reason I'm doing these seven pairs is because these are the pairs that are traded more than any other pairs in the world okay so because there's a lot of trading that goes on in these pairs what typically happens is the spreads are generally lower on these pairs than some other pairs and there's enough volatility that you can always get in and out of your trades pretty much where you want to. Now there can be some slippage involved as you guys know but generally speaking when you trade these pairs you will be able to get in and out of your trades when you want to. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start posting this every day, somewhere between 4 and 6 p.m. Central Time, U.S., which is in the first two hours of each new trading day, okay? And that way you will know exactly where I'm looking for trades throughout that trading day, okay? So the way to read these charts what I've done on each chart is I have put a pink box where I would be looking for sell trades if the price goes into that area during the trading day. And I've put a blue box where I will be looking for buy trades. Okay? And in between the two boxes, I'm not going to do anything because in between the two boxes is where there would be a very high probability that you might go into a trade and then have the price do a flip-flop on you and stick you with a bad trade. And you don't want that, right? So what I've also done is I've put a price line right where the red pink box starts and I've put a price line right where the blue box starts. 
right? So what this is telling me is that on the Euro USD pair, what I'm going to be doing is looking for sell trades and only sell trades above the price of 111.42 and I'm going to be looking for buy trades and only buy trades below the price of 110.50 okay you with me on that so if when the current bar begins which will be here in about an hour what's going to happen is the current price bar if it dips into this blue area, I will be looking to make a buy trade. Now, the top row of charts are daily charts, okay? The second row of charts are 15-minute charts because if you're going to make good trades, you have to coordinate multiple time frames okay and this is a very easy way of doing it now what you can do on your own charting because this is just a video and it's not going to be running non-stop all day and the charts change all the time right so what's going to happen is you can transpose this information each day onto your own charts okay so that you'll know the range of where you're looking for sell trades and where you're looking for buy trades but then on your 15 minute charts you can add this green line now what this is this is a moving average but it's an exponential moving average with a length of seven okay so what you want to watch for when the daily price bar moves into the blue area which is the buy zone for today what you would look for is you would look for a price bar that is not touching the green moving average and a price bar that is at least somewhere between 12 and 15 pips in length when you take your trade when you take your entry and more pips is better you know so you want it to be at least 12 pips tall preferably 15 or even more pips tall and then you want to enter the trade at the bottom of that bar right now here would be a bar that would have been a good entry except it was the the last price bar on Friday when the market closed but this is the kind of bar that you'd be looking for a nice long bar that's you know about maybe 12 pips 15 pips tall that's not touching the moving average and you want to enter the trade when the price when the current price is at the bottom of the bar and then in this situation you would be doing a buy trade if it was the other way around and you were looking for sell trades you would still want a price bar that's not touching the seven moving average is at least 15, you know 12 15 pips tall more is better and you want to enter when the price the current price is right at the top of that 15 minute price bar right now a lot of times we don't know how tall the price bar is going to be right we don't know if it's going to go up to here or here or higher right but if you are taking your trades when the price is at the top of the price bar even if the price bar goes higher your trade will probably be okay it's just going to go negative for a few minutes before it gets positive right and if it's a buy trade and you're entering at the bottom of the bar even if the price bar goes lower you're probably going to be okay if the price bar is at least 12 to 15 pips or more tall when you are entering the trade some other things that you need to know about this is 
that when there is a significant news event happening and the price bars are really stretching out really tall, you know, even on the 15 minute charts, if you are looking at price bars that are already 25 or 30 pips tall on the 15 minute chart, that's not a price bar that you really want to enter because the price is moving too fast. Okay, so, and you can tell, you guys know what I'm talking about when those major news events happen. Sometimes you'll have a 15 minute price bar that is two or three pips tall one second and the next second all of a sudden it's 28 pips tall, right? Well, that's not a bar that you'd want to enter on. You know, you want to enter when the market is moving but not moving that fast, okay? So anyway, what I do is I have a whole series of different kinds of ways to help you guys trade and help you be profitable. I do full mentoring services. I also do a lot of different kinds of seminars and workshops and things like that. So check out my website at www.mindyyost.com for other ways where I can help you with your trading. Because I've been trading profitably in the Forex market for over 20 years now. And I have taught over 700 people how to do it profitably without taking losses on your trades. Okay? And I can teach you too. Now, these charts that you're looking at, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be posting these charts every single day. Like I said, within the first two hours of each trading day. That way, you will know where I'm looking for my trades, right? And it's an easy way for you to make money by following what I'm doing. Because what I've done is I've gone in and I've done a very thorough analysis of all of these seven trading pairs, right? And I know that for the next 24 hours, this is where I'm going to be looking for my trades, my sell trades or my buy trades for each one of these seven pairs. Okay, now this is going to be a project that I offer exclusively for XOTV. Nobody else is going to have access to this. Okay, and I'm not going to be posting these videos on YouTube or anything like that, but on XOTV this will be a program that you can have access to if you support me to the tune of the $19.95 a month, right? Now, the thing is, are these areas going to produce trades every single day in every single one of these pairs? No, they're not. Some of them will hit uh, on any given day, some will not right? Some days there might be none of them that hit and other days all of them may hit. Now the thing is once a price moves into one of these tradable zones whether it's a sell zone or a buy zone the price might offer multiple trades that day in that zone. Okay so it's not just a one and done thing Sometimes you can have up to five or six unique trade opportunities, all of which might yield anywhere between five and 25 or 30 pips, sometimes more, right? But on any given pair, right? So the Euro USD today, it could offer one trade today or it could offer five or six trades today. Same thing with all of these pairs. Right? So anyway, the thing about it is for $19.95 a month, you know, if you only get five good trades over the course of the month, you're going to make money, right? Some days you might be able to pull out 100 pips in one day just doing this system. Other days you might get nothing. I, I don't have any way of guaranteeing you any kind of results because I don't know what the market's going to do every day the same way nobody else does either. But 
if this if these pairs move into these areas I know that these areas would be places where I would be looking for trades and once you do have a trade that's profitable you have to know how to manage those trades and what I do is when I have a trade that becomes say four or five pips profitable I usually will either close the trade right then take the four or five pips and say yippee <laughs> I just made money or I will add a stop to the trade to protect at least some of the profit and when I add the stop then I will go in and also add a profit target to the trade for maybe somewhere between 10 and 25 pips right now the longer you're in a trade that does not get profitable for you the more anxious you should be about getting out of the trade so if you go into a buy trade in euro usd and it qualified as a good trade right but yet you've been sitting on that trade for 30 minutes or 45 minutes and it has not yet been profitable then what you want to do is as soon as that trade does become profitable just close it and move on to the next thing right because the longer you have to wait for a trade to be profitable the more likely it is that it won't be profitable okay so that's just a really good rule of thumb it's something that I do in my trading because the one great thing about Forex is no matter what we always know that another good trade will be coming around the corner anytime it just doesn't take that long right for more trades to show up so you know if you have to close the trade for a half a pip a profit or whatever just to get out of it don't feel bad about that I do it all the time right now most of the trades that I take using this strategy turn out just fine right now this is not a strategy that you should use if you're trading in the United States because in the United States if you get into a trade that doesn't go your way you've got no way to protect yourself other than to take a loss on the trade and nobody wants to do that right so uh, this is what we're going to be doing we're going to be doing it every day every single day and from this day forward you will not have access to this unless you support me on the gold membership which is the 1999 a month okay so I look forward to uh, working with you and working for you to make sure that everybody makes lots of money in Forex okay and this is one of the programs that I'm starting today okay but it's exclusive for XOTV so I'll see you soon bye for now